Good day. The topic of my presentation is tensor decomposition based adaptive model reduction for power system simulation. The simulation is available tool for power system operators as it allows to predict future instability in the system. And one way to improve the speed of the simulation to use model reduction. So here I'm going to explain tensor decomposition based model reduction. We start with the original model with nonlinear differential equations and um, we calculate the deviation of the states using Taylor series expansion. The first term is just linearized system and high order terms are represented by a matrices whose dimensions are number of states by the number of states in the power of the order. And if the system is large and we have a large number of terms used, um, the simulation can slow down. In order to uh, prevent this, we represent the I order terms matrices by a tensor, which are multidimensional arrays, then can be decomposed using tensor decomposition into rank one tensors, which are calculated by the outer product of factor vectors. And here you can see a small example where we have third order tensor decomposed into series of rank one tensor up to the rank R and each color represents each of the three dimensions and each of the rank one tensor is calculated by the outer product of three factor vectors. And if we combine factor rep vectors representing the same dimension, we can form factor matrices. And then we can use these matrices to recalculate the original uh, high order term matrices using smaller dimension factor matrices. You can see the dimension is number of states by the rank. And we can use this approximated formulation in the hybrid model where generators that are important for the investigator are represented by the original nonlinear functions and the rest of generators are approximated using this Taylor series approximation. And this hybrid model is part of the adaptive model reductions where we switch the complexity of the system based on operating condition. And during the fault, we use accurate but slow original formulation. However, the duration of fault is generally very short, so it doesn't affect the speed of the simulation much. And we also monitor the rotor angle deviation of the generators. And if all rotor angle gener generators are below this threshold, uh, we use uh, fast formulation where all generators are represented by approximated expressions and if at least one generator angle, rotor angle deviation goes above this threshold uh, then we use the hybrid model which is a compromise between speed and accuracy. We tested this approach on 140 bus NPCC system where we defined study area with nine generators representing New England part of the system and external area with 39 generators representing the rest of the system. Two areas are connected by two tie lines. We tested all possible contingencies in the study area and short circuit at bus three creates the largest angle deviation of most of the generators and generator 23 has the largest rotor angle deviation. And the rotor angle of this generator is represented in the figure, where uh, three trajectories are calculated using different models. And if we compare adaptive, uh, re adaptively reduced model with the original system model, you can see the trajectories are very similar. So the adaptively reduced model can follow the trajectory of the original system. And however, if you use linear reduced model, we use balanced truncation in this case. It doesn't follow the original trajectory well and can be also seen yeah, based on the root mean square error. The linear model reduction creates 22 degree error, while the proposed adaptive model reduction has just 4 degree error while maintaining the same simulation speed as the linear reduced model. This is achieved by the switching to a less complex system model where the disturbance is small. And this simulation time is four times faster than the original simulation. And as the conclusion, application of that to model reduction substantially increases the speed of power system simulation. And the proposed tensor decomposition based adaptive model reduction method improves the accuracy of the simulation compared to traditional method while maintaining the same speed of the simulation. Thank you for your attention and would like to answer your questions in Q&A.